How, how big was the crowd? I mean, it seemed like, well, it seemed like they played a big factor in the win. Either one of you. Obviously, a rivalry game. Did you guys feel like both teams may have been a little tight coming out of the locker room? That can happen in a big game like that. Did you guys get that feeling at all that both teams were just a little? Um, yes and no. I think um, with, the, with the rivalry game, as big as this was, I think there's a lot of adrenaline flowing, so I yeah. think it takes a couple minutes to kind of get going a little bit, yeah, get the legs yeah. going, and maybe catch that second win. So I think once both halves, it kind of start off slow. And then we kind of got going and started playing some a real basketball. And Kevin, can you just talk about staying ready as a shooter? You know, your minutes have fluctuated. Um, you were ready to deliver tonight. How do you stay prepared to come in a big game like this and deliver? Um, well, it's kind of been that way the whole year. Um, you know, Moles, uh, Daniel's our, our guy, and I know I'm, I'm backing him up. And I just got to stay ready. I know he could go down, he'd be tired, go down, hurt. I could come in and try and give some and the energy off the bench. So, you know, I knew that coming into the season, and so I've been prepared every game. How do you guys compare this rivalry to uh, your rivalry with New Mexico? Which one do you think that you get geared up more for? Um, you really get geared up for both, but I think this one is more, you know, more of a stronger, stronger little rivalry game because we're so close to each other, you know, so I think that um, we just took this game more to heart Two big guys, Ronaldo and Sim, were setting great screens, and then Terrell and Daniel doing a good job, you know, like shadowing me the ball. If the ball, and if I had a good shot, then I know I was going to take it. But um, you know, there's a good chance that we're going to score out of that because you know um, they're flying out at me. So we knew the ball can go inside, I'm trying to get a good look no matter what. Yeah. How important was it to bounce back after that losing last time and having the 12 game winning streak? 
Um, I think it was, it was pretty important. We knew we didn't play our best at Utah, but um, um, yeah, we, didn't, we didn't play the best there, and we thought we thought we could have won that one. We thought we should have won that one. So we knew we just had to, you know, forget it, bounce back, and kind of get some momentum going to the end of the season. When, um, into the WAC tournament, you know, that's when it's a new season, and we're just trying to keep winning. So we're trying to start new streak. Does this almost feel like a tournament game? The atmosphere out there? Yeah, I think it did. Thanks, guys. Congrats, guys.